Hi everybody, it's Carolyn and welcome back. Today it's time for Friday Flips and Flops. So let's get started. Um, I tried something new this week and it is called Veil Foundation by Hourglass. I don't know if you can see it written on there. Um, I didn't go over there and look. I wanted to get some more of the uh, tinted moisturizer that I had shown you guys. It's called the Illusion Tinted Moisturizer by Hourglass. I want to get another sample of that because I don't know. I think I got a feeling I may buy that. Um, so there's another one though and it's called Immaculate Foundation and I don't think these are the same. Um, but you know I have tried this this week. I've got it on today and I don't know, y'all can tell me what you think. It's, uh, it's light to medium. Um, I would say medium. And it's very lightweight. It feels good. So, uh, I've worn it for a couple days this week. You know, because you get a sample. I may have enough for one more day. And so, um, and I put it on with the Real Techniques, um, sponge. And I really like that. So, I can't stay away from the foundations. What's wrong with me? I don't know. Okay. I did want to tell you about that. <laughs> I just showed these in a haul. Um, but I had been using them a little bit. Um, and these are the color tattoos. This one is in pure nude. Just a great plain base. I love to use these color tattoos. For me, they work. Um, you know, as a pri I don't have to put a, a primer on. I just use these, and that's it. And this, you know, and then put my shadows on. But um, and this one is in Sleek and Spice, and this is the one I have on today. And of course, you could wear that alone. I mean, put some of that on, bam. You know. Uh, I wish that I think the matte ones they're my they're my ultimate favorite um, they had three that came out in the matte collection and they made it limited edition I don't know why because I think those would have been a great addition to the ones they sell all the time because they work beautifully I mean I use the nude pink almost every single day and I love that thing, and um, but like I said, there was three. I don't know. I don't know. I think that was a a flop, <laughs> if you will, for them. Hopefully they'll, you know, bring them, bring them in and and put them in there. I don't, I don't know that they have any plans to. I I just wish they would. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> okay, this I showed, and I'll tell you what. This stuff, I have never. I've never found a moisturizer that has not made my face just an oily. And I think from some of the things maybe that I've been doing and using this Origins Ginseng, I'm telling you, any of you that have oily skin and you have problems with moisturizer, this stuff is the bomb because it does not leave you oily and you know for people that need more moisture this probably wouldn't be enough but I think this stuff is so I mean I'm so excited about it that you know I got the little sample basically of it and then I went back and got the full one and ah, I'm in love with that stuff all right this is something I had bought for God and you guys told me, you said, you know, you'll use it and you'll love it. And, you know, that's true. It, this is the Milani Blush in Luminoso. I've got that on today. I'm feeling all, got some, you know, feeling peachy today. Feeling springy. And this is so pretty. And this doesn't have glitter in it. A lot of Milani blushes have glitter in them. And I don't, glitter's fine. For people that like that kind of thing, um, for my mature skin, I don't want to call call any more attention to anything going on in my face than I have to. 
you know, I don't want to add um, glitter to it. So I, I do like this one, uh, Luminoso, and like I said, it has no glitter. This one I showed to you uh, in a haul. I had used it prior to, to hauling it. And this is in the color Key West. And it's one of the cargo blushes. And they they're just they're just so nice. Um, try not to do it so heavy because you you don't need a lot. You really don't need a lot. And this I've just fallen in love with. Like I said, with cream blushes, I've just really gotten where I like them and like the appearance. But see how pretty that is. I use my little elf. This is so nasty, but it's my little elf stipple brush, and I'll use that. But I gotta wash my brush. Um, I'll use that to blend it out, and it's just, it's just beautiful. Okay. Now, for my eyes this week, I'm trying out this that I got with the cargo stuff. This is a, it's called Black Sea um, Eye Pencil Crayon. It says swimmables on it. Now, I will tell you one thing about this that I really like is when I put it in my tight line and you know you always blink or whatever usually anything I put up there other than say um, I've got a couple maybe but they usually will end up transferring but you know the the Jordana 24 hour that that does really well this one didn't transfer at all not at all and so I have got it on today and put it in my waterline. Now it is not, I mean it's still there and it hasn't traveled over to the corner. It's just not as dark as it was, but it is still there. So I'm going to give this a little bit longer, but this has been a week, this week it's been a flip. So, okay, my eyes. I pulled out this little trio, and I've always liked this little trio, and it's from Wet n Wild, and it's Walking on Eggshells. This has always been one of my favorites. Um, I mean, I've got several of them that I really like, but I think this one's been my all-time favorite. And there it is there. And it's just simple, easy, it works. I really like it. So I am um, using that this week. And also, to wipe my fingers off. Also, my the other one that I've been using this week is the It Cosmetics. Um, this one I wish I knew what the name of it was. I can't remember. And it's just this black, you know. I got this at Ulta, and I think they have it on the website, Ulta's website, and on It Cosmetics website as well. But I really like this one. Got this on today. This has a little bit of shimmers in it as well as mattes, where the other, when the pink one is all matte. So today I just wore, you know, let's see, put this on the lid, this one right here, and then I just went right to the crease with this one brought this out in the outer V just a little bit and use this one for brow ball right here. And so that's what that is today. And then I used of course the black as the liner. So really I really do enjoy this palette. Alright. For my lips, this is new too and it is Ravishing Rose from Maybelline. One of their new new ones they just came out with and it is so pretty so so pretty but it will be kind of you know I don't know how to describe it um, I kind of tone it down a little bit so I'll just put some of this little little gloss over top because it's just sheer um, I mean this really doesn't have any color to it here beside of it you can see it's got well no it does but it's not very much so they kind of I put it on so lightly over it just to give it bring it down just a little little bit 
And then the other one that I've been wearing this week, which is what I have on today, um, which is kind of worn down, but this is Max Ravishing. Like I said, I've just been wanting the corals. And this is what it looks like right here. And I've been putting this over top of it, which is, what is it? Apple Strudel by NYX. So I've just been putting that on lightly over top. And there's that beside of it. So that was my lipsticks this week. Alright. Now for nails. This week I have worn <coughs> this one, China Glaze. It is a Rose Among Thorns. Miss Cavalier 01. Colleen, she showed this one, and I really liked it, so I wanted to get it, so I was lucky and got that one. So thank you, Colleen. <laughs> and then, um, this one, Joe, three, four, five, six, no, three, four, five, seven, six, I think it is. She had shown this one, which was Bite the Bullet, and this purple, Wet and Wild. Really like that. And then the one I have on today is by Sinful Colors. This is the ones I got for 99 cents. I haven't shown y'all those yet, but I will. Um, this one is called Island Coral. I like that one too. So, I'd never gotten any of the Sinful Colors until I'd gotten these. And so far, so good, you know. So, Okay. For my flops, let me reach over here and get this one. I have three flops. That's a lot. <laughs> okay, the first one, you haven't seen it. Um, I got this because I, I just stuck it in a drawer, and this is the Too Faced Lip Injection. There's nothing wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with it. It just burns like a, ooh, ooh, I can't, I just don't want to use it, it, to me it's just not, ow, so, that to me is a flop, because, you know, I'm, I'm not going to use it, not, that I, like I said, not that I'm saying it's bad, it's just that it's a little too much for me, <laughs> <laughs> the other one is this little um, lip gloss that I just showed you too. It's the Fergie. It is in uh, Street Queen. I don't like this. I don't like this applicator. I said it when I showed it that I don't like this little applicator. It just, it just bends. It's just like, it's just a foam thing stuck on the end. <laughs> So it pulls out a whole lot of product when it when it comes out too, and then it just it just bends so much trying to put it on. So it really makes a big mess. So I don't uh, I don't care for it. So I mean, I, it's like you don't have any control with this, and so and then if you just try to lay it down here like this and do it, then it ends up all. Mm, I just don't care for it. So, the color's nice. I mean, you know, it's very bright, but I mean, it's nice. It's true to color. The other thing is what I got, one thing I got in my Ipsy bag. And for me, it's these shadows. Um... Color-wise, number one, I mean, they're just colors that are not for me. Um, and then as far as, you know, some of the pigmentation of them, it was really, I mean, that's rubbing kind of hard in there. And they're very, very light, you know, and not, um, for someone of my age, I feel like, as wearable. 
but also they just don't really have much pigmentation to them. So this to me was a flop. So anyway, that is all I have this week. Um, I hope all of you have a wonderful weekend. Please subscribe and I will see you on Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.